I think for most of us, graduations are a very, very special time. And this morning, um, this is incredible. It, it, uh, the Lord keeps blessing our church with young people and older people who pursue excellence in the things of God, including education. Um, I was supposed to say a little something about Deborah, and she would be extremely happy uh, at what you've heard today. Part of her life's work, you know, since 1989, was to help our young people here at this church be able to go to school and 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 would not only go, but you know, if they had a need for that need to be met. We don't know the actual count, but we know well over 200 students have been blessed by Deborah's contribution. And, and some of them every year, uh, uh, some of them have total, you know, eight, nine, maybe even up to $10,000 from her contributions and others. Um, as of a few weeks ago, the Deborah Dade Memorial Scholarship Foundation is a legal nonprofit entity of the state of Ohio with its own tax ID number. Amen. Um, we, we felt to do that because her friends and family are so involved now since coming here to the memorial they are sending money in toward that, and we've made it easy for them. Uh, it's tax deductible to do that. We are also going to challenge all of our former recipients and their families to put a seed in this. Since Deborah is gone, she's no longer contributing, but she left such a foundation. If every family or every student that she has blessed would give anywhere from $50 to $100 a year. That foundation, that scholarship could stay on for other students. You, you understand, at, at the memorial, we had one uh, situation I thought that was, all of them were special, but one I want to mention today was we had a mother and a daughter who had both received, when, when um, Sister Jan um, Rankin, when Jan was, well, still Jan Williams, when she was a senior, she received a scholarship, and then a few years ago, her daughter, who's now in college, received a scholarship. I think that is powerful, that is perpetuation, and that is something that we need to do. Can we say amen? amen. I would like to, before I share with you just a thought from the Word of God, um, I would like everyone to stand, and um, I, I want to pray for all of our graduates. Again, I want to pray for all of our winners again, all of those who have uh, been singled out. I want to pray for um, our staff that works here, and uh, thank you all for putting that on the program. Uh, you did forget the ministerial staff, praise the Lord, amen. And, and uh, I, I know that's, look, when you're doing things like this, it is so hard to remember everything. But Pastor Daniel is one uh, first of all, I'm thanking them for doing it. I'm, I'm bringing that up because actually your error made me feel a little better because I tend to always forget one and folks be rolling their eyes at me. It's, listen, it's better to try to honor and thank people knowing that you may make an error than not to try at all. The intent is to say thank you. And, and, and the other part of it is if you're doing something as unto the Lord, you already got your things. If you're doing something for recognition, you will probably never be satisfied. You'll never be satisfied. It'll never be good enough. It'll never be enough. But when you, when you do, do it unto the Lord, believe me, God comforts your heart. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I think in this life, as we look back for those of us who do work as unto the Lord, uh, if we were to uh, uh, try to look back and see if we've been appreciated the way we thought we should have been, we'll probably say, well, wow. 
I don't think they did such a good job sometimes. Amen. And I'm not talking about being the pastor here because you all have been wonderful. But I spent over, I think, 30 years uh, in evangelism, working all over the country and all over the country. Praise the Lord. They gave me a dinner that I still had to work at. Amen. And they gave me $250. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For, 20, for, for over 25 years. Now, 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 I'm bringing it to say, if it was about that, I could be disappointed. But it's not about that. It's about all those souls that I've seen go down in Jesus' name. I also share that with you so you know that just because you may have an international position, it does not mean that you're going to get all the glory folk think that you have. You, you, you just, you, you never know those things. So, so uh, please be, be mindful of that. When you do what you do, do it as unto the Lord. God has smiled on us so much today. I am overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. I'm, I'm so grateful for every graduate here. Um, uh, I have relationship one way or the other with everyone. Everyone is personal to me. Yes, I have a daughter who went through a lot and still has to deal with things, but I know that God is able to sustain everybody in this room. I will say that the scholarship committee met this week and they have some exciting plans to do some exciting things. They're going to be investigating, uh, helping adults, amen, with scholarships now. Praise the Lord. They're going to be, in, uh, you know, uh, in, they're investigating, helping uh, people who have just uh, religious pursuits in scholarship now. So again, become active with this. I will say this, and I know you're standing, but there's a lot to pray about. Listen very carefully. The new scholarship program is going to start a whole year earlier. And unless your student gets involved when it starts, they're going to miss it. They won't qualify for it. In order for you to get scholarships from other places, you have to start now. You should have already started. If you're graduating in 2019, that process has already started for other places. So by us following suit with that, we will be preparing you to get scholarships in other places. Does that make sense? Can we say amen? amen. So uh, we're serious about this just as much as we are about salvation. Kind Father, in the name of Jesus, you have amazed us today with what you've put into these young people and adults. You've given them abilities and academic abilities. You've given them personalities where they will volunteer and people are speaking highly of them. Lord, we understand that you're doing this so that they may be salt, hallelujah, in the world. So that their flavor and their season will season these campuses and season these uh, corporations and all the places where they are. Even those professional baseball teams, God. Lord God, let RJ take something there that will let them know that this young man, hallelujah, knows who Jesus really is. Cover them, protect them as they are flying around and traveling to all of these different places in and out of the country. God, cover Carl, God, in the name of Jesus. Jordan, cover him in the name of Jesus. Cover, cover, hallelujah, Brother Freeman as he goes out to Washington in the name of Jesus. God, bind the devil in the name. Hallelujah, all these shooters, all these killers, we plead the blood of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus. You know how to cover. God, keep their minds and their hearts pure toward you. Keep them ever blessing your name and lifting you up. Open doors of opportunity the way you already have. Give them favor after favor after favor as they bless and magnify your name. Thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness and your tender mercy. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Psalm 67, and I will only introduce this to you. 
Hallelujah. We'll only introduce it to you. God be merciful unto us, verse 7, and bless us. I'm sorry, this is verse 1. And cause his face to shine upon us, that thy way may be known, thy saving health among all nations. Let the people praise thee. O oh God, let all the people praise thee. Oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations unto the earth, upon the earth. Verse 5 again. Let the people praise thee. O oh God, let all the people praise thee. Everybody say then. then. Everybody say then. then. Then shall the earth yield her increase. And God, even our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the people of the earth shall fear him. One translation says, shall worship him. The word there is yare. It means to be frightful, but it also means to have reference. And this time it is talking about when we bless God, other people will bless God because we bless God. Hallelujah. For uh, uh, probably less than 10 minutes, I want to focus on verse 3 and 5 and 7. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. A subject to share with you today, unified praise. Unified praise yields increase. Unified praise yields increase. I am talking about the activity and not the singing group. Hallelujah. We had a group here called Unified Praise. And when Unified Praise was unified and they praised God, there was an increase in the whole house. It was a powerful thing. Hallelujah. But today, I am impressed to ask you, and I know you may be tired, you may be sleepy, and so am I. Hallelujah. But I wonder what will really happen in Greater Emmanuel if all the people would really praise God. That's just what this scripture is saying. Let all the people, everybody say all. all. See, everybody didn't even say all. We elect to remove ourselves. We elect to single ourselves out as if God is not talking to us. Hallelujah. What is the big deal? That you can't open your mouth in the house of God and give him a corporate praise. There is something called the Shekinah glory. And the reason it does not appear in most places is that you got somebody doing their own thing. Hallelujah. I was telling the ministers today that God does not run a democracy. God does not run, hallelujah, a, 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 a republic. He runs a theocracy, which means what he says, somebody says, God says, and everybody is supposed to do what God says. Hallelujah. I'm not trying to run a church all by myself. I ain't that tough. I ain't that bad. But I declare, I will ask God, ask God, pray, lay before, cry. Hallelujah. And Lord, what must I do? Once I hear what I must do, I'm going to tell you. But I can't make anybody in here do anything. Hallelujah. But when all the people praise God, when all the people praise God, increase Increase will be in the earth. Increase will be in your life. Increase will be in your home. Increase will be in your family. Can we say hallelujah? hallelujah. Verse 3, 2 says that your way may be known on the earth. Yesterday we had 10 of the 12 candidates, uh, nominees, that's going to head up the young people's organization for the city of Cincinnati from the day of Pentecost celebration. It was open to every church and to every young saint in the city. 
we only got 17, uh, 15, I'm sorry, 15 nominations. And from the 15 nominations, three of them declined. I'm sorry, four declined, so it must have been, help me with the math, 16 nominations and four declined. You could have nominated yourself. I, I did speak to some young people here, uh, praise the Lord, and, and uh, some of them responded and some of them didn't. And somebody even from another church nominated a person from here. But we have three young people on that committee. Uh, they, they are Brother Freeman, amen, Minister Lee, and, and, and Minister Tubbs, amen, who just took his elder's license test, amen, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Now, when I heard them speak on yesterday, when, if you would have heard those young people, those 10 young people, oh my goodness, Bishop was there, he was moved. District Elder Smith, all those pastors, they felt so powerful that those young people talking about the name of Jesus on campuses and, 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 and speaking with other tongues as the Spirit of God gives utterance. It means that seed is still in the earth and that, that we were to support them. We were to get behind them. That we don't have to worry about the truth going forward. Hallelujah. Now in saying that, they will probably use approaches that some of you may not understand, but they've got to communicate. They've at least got to get their foot in the door. Hallelujah. However God would bless them and anoint them to get someone to listen to the word, it will cause unity. Unity is strength. Strength brings in power. It gives you stability. Hallelujah. And sustainability. What I'm asking you today, if we could still just make one sound in this place, let all the people praise him. Let all the people praise him. Let the whole earth be full of thy glory. Let all the people praise him. Oh bless the Lord, all ye saints. Shout unto the Lord with the voice of triumph for he is worthy. Praise him on the drums. Praise him on the cymbal. Praise him on stringed instrument. Praise him on the high sounding instrument. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord for he alone is worthy. Worthy to receive praise. Honor the dominion and power for he alone is worthy I will say of the Lord he is my strength he is my strong tower he is my salvation he is my soon coming king there's none like him in all the earth oh say but I'm glad that Jesus lifted me That you may know thy saving health among all nations. Everybody say saving health. Uh -huh, let it just sink in. Saving health. Health that will save you. Right. Saving health. That has to mean healing. <laughs> if my health saved me, that means I just got healed. The word there is Yeshua. Saving health, two words translated in Hebrew means Yeshua, or is Yeshua, and you know Jesus. Jesus is my saving health. Why in the world would the writer put in the scripture, God be merciful unto us and brought, bless us and cause his face, his pani to shine. That actually means to turn around and smile. 
God have mercy on me. Knowing that I need mercy with my toe up self. Yes, yes. I'm talking to the sanctified people now, hallelujah. You just is toe up from the flow up sometimes. And then you get toe up, then you make somebody else toe up. You make me toe up. You come at me toe up, I might get toe up at you. Hello. I say if somebody come at you toe up, you know you want to be toe up back at them. Y'all so saved in here. You're just wonderful. You're just so saved. That's why we're asking for mercy. That's why we're asking you in our situation, Lord, just turn around and smile at me. Hallelujah. There's nothing like getting a smile from someone you think that's upset with you, especially if you know you've done something to make them upset. Right. Right. And you see the smile, it can be a little confusing because you don't know if they're going to jump on you then or they've forgiven you. But at least there's a hope. At least I got a smile. Yeah. Tell somebody, at least I got a smile. I'm thinking about it. And again, this is a song that they sang. After that statement, there was a pause, a sila, an interlude. They stopped and let the music play so they could think about what they just saw. Lord, I want you to bless me. I want you to look at me and smile. Smile at me, Jesus. Somebody say, smile at me, Jesus. Mm, smile at me, Jesus. Smile at me, Jesus. Oh, Lord, you watched me the whole week. Smile at me, Jesus. You heard me the whole week. Smile at me, Jesus. That I want to know your way in the earth. And I want your saving health among all nations. Stand on your feet. Praise the Lord. Stand on your feet. Verse 6 brings a conclusion. After twice telling all the people to praise him. After once saying, be glad and sing for joy. And then it comes again. Let the people praise thee. Let all the people praise thee. Then, 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 if you want this increase, and notice the increase came in the earth, which means if you're on the earth, you become a part of the increase. It is an included blessing. It is an included blessing. There are things that we can do that will cause the earth to bless us. The word yield there is the same word for give. Nathan's, where we get the word Nathaniel and Nathan from. It means to give, it means to release, it means to bestow. It even means to just abundantly pour out. When we come into alignment of unified praise, oh my God, God's going to pour out. He's going to pour out in ways, hallelujah, that will cause us to bless him all over again. Lord, we thank you today. You have blessed these young people. You've given them opportunity. You helped them make deadlines and some of them you gave mercy and favor. You gave them favor with professors and people of higher learning that they saw something in them that made them say, well, no, wait a minute, do it this way if you're having a problem here. God, you did all of those intricate things. If each one of them had an opportunity, they could testify that if it had not been you on their side, they would not be sitting up in here today with degrees behind their name. They realize that it is in you that they live and move and have their being. And God, I ask you to keep them even as the apple of your eye.
I pray for those who are still matriculating, those who have not yet had a graduation, those who are yet studying, that you will keep them. I pray for those, God, that are listening today and they're trying to decide what to do about education and salvation. God, let them know that salvation is the principal thing. It's the main thing. Hallelujah. God, help them to say, I need you, Lord. I need thee every hour, every hour, every hour. I need thee. Bless me now, my Savior. I come to you. And we give you great praise for that. We give you great praise, God, for anyone who will make a decision today to go down in your name. Make a decision today to walk closer. Make a decision today to get it right. Make a decision today to turn and let you turn them. We thank you for it, Lord. We give you glory for it, Lord. We magnify you for you are our saving health. You are Jesus. You are Savior. You are King. You are Deliverer. You are Waymaker. There's none like you in all the earth. God, as we go into this holiday week, God, cover your people. Cover them wherever they are. Cover them in public places. Let your blood cover from the foolishness of this world. Cover the families, Lord. Cover the families, Lord. Cover the families, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we give you great praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. While you are still standing, is there one that needs to come? Is there one who needs to come for prayer? Please come quickly. Hallelujah. Is there one that needs to come today? Hallelujah to God. This is a good day. There's one who needs blessings about education. We've celebrated those who've been victorious, but maybe there's some who are struggling. Maybe there's some who don't have the finance. They need a weight. Maybe there's some who don't understand their next step. Come and receive prayer. Hallelujah. Come let Jesus work it out for you. He's already got it fixed. He already has it done. Hallelujah. You want to go back to school? Amen. Come and stand. Come and pray. Let God make a way for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know he's able. I know he's able. I know he's able. Hallelujah to God. Thank you, Jesus. Are there others? Hallelujah. As we prepare ourselves to give, as, as you prepare to give, amen, we can give and pray at the same time. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. My, my, my. Mm, mm. More than anything, I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Oh, say, I love you, Jesus. Lord, I love that. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Pray, 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 saints. Hey, hey, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything hey oh hey I love you Jesus I worship and adore you just want to tell you Lord I love you 
more than anything. Let's lift it one more time in the house. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Oh, I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. More than anything, more than anything, Lord, I love you more than anything. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord, I love you more than anything. Glory, Jesus. Lord, I bless you and I praise you. I love you more than anything. Where's the officials to come? Hallelujah. Lord, I love you more than anything. Glory, glory, glory. Lord, I love you. More than anything, prepare to come from the rear with your tithing and offering. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, we give you great praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. More than anything. Under the direction of the ushers, please bring your gifts at this time. Lord, I love you more. Lady Trish is coming with the announcements. Electronic giving is in the rear. Hallelujah. Please be attentive to the announcements. Please be attentive. 